Hello guys, how's it going? Alex the Grandpa on here. I hope you're well. I know it's been a while, but I'm back and we got a video today on the battery tester BT300P from Top Dawn. And first of all, I want to let you know some pretty good news um, that I've sorted out for you with Top Dawn Company. The guys are awesome there. I've been talking for them, uh, to them for about two weeks now and I had this tool for two weeks, been testing it out. Pretty cool. It does a lot of stuff actually. So just to let you know while we're here, I have managed to sell a pretty good deal for you. You can actually get a tool like this for free and a couple of others, including battery charger, boost pack, and some OBD scanners for your DIY guys, uh, which is pretty sick. I think that will work out very, very well for you guys. It's just as a thank you for the support and obviously to give you a chance to work on your cars and save some money as well on some repairs. Um, so if you're interested in that, all the info is going to be in the description below. I'm going to put all the tools that you can get and what you have to do to get them. It's pretty easy and obviously don't worry it's not a scam guys i've got over probably 30 people now that got their tools for free and they're loving them uh, all we want is to build your feedback and some pictures of you using them as well that'll be pretty cool but yeah check that in the description below and now we're going to carry on obviously talking about the tool that we got here and also do a quick demo and review of it today so I think this is pretty sick guys because um, on normal battery tester you only got one function which is just test the battery and it will tell you if it's good or not and that's it. On this one it actually helps you diagnose and the stuff as well. So obviously the first test you can do on this is uh, test the battery, you have to unplug it and select the right settings I'm going to show you in a second now anyway and it will test you, tell you if the battery is good or not or if it needs charging or if the cells are dead and obviously etc so you get all the health report for the battery second one is pretty cool uh, which is the startup of the vehicle so it tests the power of the startup how long it takes and gives you the feedback of the health of the battery so this helps you diagnosing any start issues on your car especially the diesel cars this is brilliant for them guys because sometimes especially on the VAG groups uh, you got issue with the starters you got issue with batteries you got issue with the drain on the system which uh, will stop you obviously of having a healthy start. So yeah, I think that is pretty awesome for that. And you can get a report on that as well. And the third one is the charging. So once the car is running, you obviously connect the tester to it and you can check the alternator performance, which is pretty sick. Uh, it gives you live data of that. It shows you all the power distribution, which is pretty good. I'm gonna show you that later as well. So yeah, like I said, this tester does help you with some diagnos diagnosis on the car, obviously on issues that you might have. And you also get a report, which you got a paper there. They're going to show you later as well. It prints out the health report, which is for the garages or if you're working on someone else's car. Uh, you got a proof of the test of the battery. It's a pretty good addition to your service. Uh, so you can show them, look, it failed and this is why it failed. Or yeah, your battery is good. You just need to charge it or drive a bit longer. Um, so yeah, brilliant tool for that. And let's get out of the box and obviously demonstrate you how it works. Right, so let's get the tool out of there and have a look and do our tests. So this is pretty sick because you got the case with it as well to carry it around and keep it safe. So you've got the tool, you got the manual, which is uh, very important to read it guys because you need to make sure you put the details in correctly for the batteries and make sure that that is all done properly. If not, you can get a wrong reading and you don't really want that finally in the battery for no reason. You got two extra rolls of paper. That's good, very handy depending on how many tests you're going to be doing obviously and we've got the tool here as well obviously that's handy in it um, so I still got a protector on there but it looks great actually it's quite cool you got the carbon effect there as well uh, pretty simple to use guys you haven't got that many buttons so that's good the clamps are looking good as well good quality so yeah I'm pretty sure the quality you'll be happy with that because I am uh, so obviously it doesn't power up until you Connected to the battery, it needs the voltage of the battery to power up, and that's where your receipt comes out. As you can see, I already tried a couple of times. So to do the first test, the battery charge state, obviously in the health of it, we have to unplug the contact. Obviously, if you got the battery out of the vehicle anyway, that's even easier. But yeah, to do the test properly, you have to disconnect the battery from the vehicle. So we're just going to take the negative terminal off. Get it off of there. Out of the way and connect the tool to it now. There you go, the tool is alive now. Right, 
Right, let's off for the first test so you can see the screen properly. I hope you can see it well. Uh, so the first test, the battery test, like I said, uh, we're connected to the battery now, terminals are unplugged. Um, so just press enter. Uh, you choose the type of the battery. This is why I said it's important to read the manual and select the right battery to get the correct, obviously, test results. Uh, so I know my one is regular flooded. So let's go straight to that. And uh, now you got all the different settings that you can select. Obviously, you have to select one of them. Uh, on my battery, I have got a CA setting. So I'm just going to press enter. 750, because I already tested it. That's the reading there. But if you want to change it, just go down. I'll go up and obviously select the correct uh, um, setting from the battery they're going to have on the sticker. So have a look at that first please and obviously the type of it. So press enter and the testing begins. So it's pretty quick. There you go. There's my report. Zoom in for you. Good battery, healthy. It has been on charge. So it's 770A and charge is 100% because I hope so. But I've been charging it for ages. Um, so as you can see you got all the settings there and like I said if you want you can print it straight away by pressing enter Lovely brilliant so that's that Got my receipt like I said you can give it to your customer which is pretty good and you can also save it so press M so it goes in the memory it Saved it so if you go later on to have a look at the data at the bottom there, you can see your last test, and there it is. And obviously you can scroll down if you had any other tests. Right, for the second test, you can check the manual. Like I said, I do recommend reading it properly. Make sure you do the test properly. So the cranking test, uh, you have to obviously plug in the battery back on the car, connect the tester to it, it comes on and go to the second setting that we got there. Sorry, it's not zooming in properly. So cranking test, press enter. And it says, please start the engines. That's what we have to do now. We're gonna put the tool down there. Now guys, don't be afraid. When it starts, it's gonna be noisy as hell because the gearbox is knackered on this car. That's why it's a project car. We've got a new gearbox here already. So we're gonna start up quickly. There it goes. Testing. There you go, perfect. Cranking normal. Let me just turn it off quickly. Jesus Christ. All right, that's that. Let's have a look at the reading now. Not that you can hear me. Uh, so you got the cranking time there, which is perfect. The voltage they drop to when you start it up. And obviously it says it's normal, so it's good. And again, you can print it off by pressing enter, or you can just save it by pressing M. Right, for test number three, guys, read the manual again. Uh, it will explain you how to do it. You do have to make sure you do it all properly. Uh, you have to have the car running before you press enter. I'm just obviously talking to you because the car's gonna get pretty loud and uh, you're gonna Test the battery, then you press enter again. You have to rev the engine to 2,500 RPM for five seconds. And then you're gonna uh, read the values of that as well and give you a report. So I'm gonna start it up. Like I said, it will get loud again. Here we go. So press enter, now that it's running. The lights have to be off. So there you go, we got the graph there. And if you press enter one more time, it starts testing. I'm gonna ask you to rev it up. There you go, I'm gonna rev it up now. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And press enter. We got testing again. And there we got the results, and they are good. Let me just turn it off so you can hear me. Jesus Christ, I need to change the gearbox as soon as possible. Right, so there's the results, guys. Like I said, you can print them again. Uh, you can save them. Or just go exit and job done and just unplug it. So yeah, this also helps you diagnosing the issues, guys, with your, like I said, alternator and a few other things, so pretty good. 
Right guys, so here we are. The workshop stinks now and it's cold as hell now. So I hope yeah, I demonstrated all the settings for you and that you enjoyed it obviously as well and find out that it's helpful. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've been using the tool for a while. I like it. The design is pretty cool as well. Works really well. Helps you with diagnosis of the car as well and obviously stops you from one day obviously not being able to start the car after you've been on holiday or something. So I definitely recommend doing this before you go away somewhere to make sure that your battery is up to date. And if it's not, if it's slow or you haven't driven your car, don't forget to check out the other products. And like I said, you can get some of them for free as well, like the battery charger to charge it up or the booster that I definitely recommend taking with you on holiday. If you live in your car for a while or if you're flying away, just got a booster in the boot, get it out. Nice and easy. The battery is weak or lost the power, especially in the hybrid cars. Stick it on there, start it up, it starts it up, and on the way home, it will charge the battery up for you. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, don't forget to check the description below to make sure that you get in time to get your tools for free as well, to try them out. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a subscribe, give us a like. Like I said, comment below, and I'll see you soon. Bye.